The monarch 96 was joined by Prince Charles for the ceremony at Windsor Castle where health leaders from the four UK nations were each awarded a medal. The Queen, who is suffering from ongoing mobility issues, looked radiant in a floral dress and did not carry a walking stick during the audience on Tuesday. The head of state handed out the medals to representatives from Scotland, England, Wales and Northern Ireland in recognition of the NHS courage, compassion and dedication during the COVID pandemic. Guests included NHS England Chief Executive Amanda Pritchard and her counterparts from NHS Scotland and NHS Wales, Caroline Lamb and Judith Paget, respectively, and Peter May, Permanent Secretary at the Department of Health and Chief Executive of Health and Social Care Northern Ireland. They were joined by a frontline worker from each of the home nations, including May Parsons, the nurse who delivered the world's first coronavirus vaccine outside clinical trials to Maggie Keenan on December 8, 2020. When the nurse told the Queen, we're terribly, terribly proud of the vaccination rollout, it was so successful, she replied, yes it was amazing. And when Ms Pritchard highlighted the tens of millions who have been jabbed, the monarch said tremendous. When the Queen asked, and what are you going to do with it? With regards to the medal, she was told by Ms Pritchard it would go on tour of the NHS before being found a permanent home. Each health executive from the Four Nations and their frontline colleague came up in turn to receive a George Cross which had been placed on a cushion carried by the Queen's Equerry Lieutenant Colonel Tom White. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Vernon, controller of the Lord Chamberlain's office with responsibility for organising ceremonial events, read out the George Cross citation at the start of the ceremony. He said, it is with great pleasure, on behalf of a grateful nation, that the George Cross is awarded to the National Health Services of the United Kingdom. This award recognises all NHS staff, past and present, across all disciplines and all four nations. Over more than seven decades, and especially in recent times, you have supported the people of our country with courage, compassion and dedication, demonstrating the highest standards of public service. You have our enduring thanks and heartfelt appreciation. The award of the George Cross by the Queen is made on the advice of the George Cross Committee and the Prime Minister. This marks only the third occasion on which it has been awarded to a collective body, country or organisation, rather than an individual.